social venture challenge first of all it's a place where we build a network of a brilliant mindset of a young young people who are passionate about creating a better community and also it's a it's a place where we get the necessary support in terms of skills networking and more so ever funds to make sure that we fulfill our dreams and we put our passions into practice taking the pandemic situation it's yes it's a challenge but also an opportunity to learn and grow as a project for example now we are interacting through zoom we are practicing this kind of learning how to operate uh, with technology and the being realistic doing right now is the best moment because the moments that are hard we are getting opportunity to connect with the resolution project we will have a strong story to say that we grew during the pandemic with the help of a resolution project so i i don't like to wait because we have been waiting it for a while so now it's time to yeah. Hi, I'm George Ciatis. I'm the CEO and one of the co-founders of the Resolution Project. Despite its difficulties, we felt it was extremely important to host this social venture challenge competition. It's important for us to continue to invest in young people in their leadership. We've seen global failures uh, across the board uh, by leaders, and, uh, and that investment in young people needs to continue so that we can work hard to, to build up the types of socially responsible, civically minded leaders that we need to address uh, these issues today and to address future issues. At the same time, the issues that these fellows are working to address, clean water, health care, uh, access to services, equality and empowerment, these issues aren't going away. If anything, they've been harder in times of COVID. And so uh, despite all of the challenges logistically, while this may have been less convenient to host as a, as a competition from our usual, uh, we felt it was extremely important to, to show up for these young people so that they could show up fully and completely for their communities as well. All right, well, listen, with that, wishing all the competitors the best of luck. Um, it's time to get started. Yes, hello, this is John from Uganda. Hello. My name is Doris Mwangi and I'm from Kenya. Hello, my name is Grace Paco and I'm also from Kenya. Hello, I'm Rita from Uganda. I'm Anna Shaba from Uganda. I'm Justin from Rwanda. I'm Alsante Efraim from Tanzania. This is Enoch from Tanzania. I'm Inibaba's Cherichi from Uganda. This is Alicia from Uganda. I'm Dorothy from Ghana. Everyone. I'm Etonam from Ghana. Hi everyone, I'm Adam from Ghana. My name is Jonathan Afghanis, I'm from Lebanon. Hello, I am Marwan and I'm from Lebanon. Hello, I'm Raymond from Zimbabwe. Uh, we believe that uh, that Agrotopia will, will, will positively affect the economic sector in Lebanon. So ours is to ensure that we provide a support system to ensure wholesome development of these students. And our farmyard is going to comprise, comprise of like vegetable garden, fresh vegetables, poultry, and then in a year time, we're going to have like our chip and pigs project in the same farm. question is about sustainability of the program. So how did you get the 33 volunteers? If you can show me the, the size of the problem and, um, and, and, and the size of the opportunity. Do you currently have a set structure or training or curriculum in place? I believe everyone who participated whether your name is going to be mentioned here today or not, everyone has victories to celebrate. So congratulations to all the participants for the great effort that you made. Baobab Summit, are you ready? Please show your appreciation and support in whatever virtual way that you can. excited guys i don't know how i can control <laughs> thank you but I'm, I'm from uganda good evening from uganda <laughs> thanks to the resolution fellow 
uh, great thanks to our judges. I'm really uh, proud of being a fellow. I really don't know how you can explain it. <laughs> but thank you, thank you so much. <laughs>